Hi guys, it's Adam the OT back again with some more simple, fun and effective OT games that are perfect for the home, the clinic or the classroom. Ah, it's nice to say that again. I was off for a few weeks there. I had a new job and 2020 decided to end in pretty spectacular fashion and go 10 different kinds of bonkers. But now we're back in action and we're back to start 2021 with a really fun one called the Blueberry Shuffle. So for the Blueberry Shuffle, it's one of my favorites for... Um, motor planning and following a multi-step direction, fine motor skills, skills yeah, and dexterity, motor modulation, so for those kids that kind of hold or put too much pressure on the writing tool, it's a really good one for that, and it's also really silly and fun. It ticks my three little Adam's rules for motor learning. It's fun, it's clear, and it's accessible to a very wide range of ages and ability. So, without further ado, let's see the Blueberry Shuffle. So for the blueberry shuffle, you need just three things. You will need a clothes peg, like a laundry peg. Ones like this that are larger in one end and small in the other work best. Rather than the little, you know, the skinny wooden ones that are flat. These are good because it takes more pressure to open them. You need paper cups. Any cups will do, but paper cups are best because they have this little space in the top like that. And also something small to pick up. You can use pom-poms or little pieces of paper that are scrunched up, or my favorite, you can use blueberries. Hence the name, Blueberry Shuffle, okay? So I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see me do the Blueberry Shuffle game. This is exactly like I would do it if I was in a teletherapy session or in clinic with the child. Hi there. Um, so I'm gonna start off with a blank surface. If you're doing this on a teletherapy session, do it really slow and make the setup very visual and step-by-step. Step. Remember, the setup for these activities is sometimes as worthwhile a learning experience as the actual activity itself. So to start off with, we're gonna put five little small items. It could be blueberries or pom-poms, okay? So just to show you the difference, I'm gonna do two blueberries, then I'm gonna do three, or sorry, two pom-poms, and one, two, three blueberries, okay? I'm gonna put a cup in front of each one. I'll move a little further away so you guys can see a little better. Okay. And what I'm gonna ask the person to do, okay? I'm gonna pick usually their dominant hand first, okay? So this right hand for me. So I'm gonna hold the end of the, the clothes peg and then all they're gonna do, I'm gonna tell them to pick it up and place it on top. If it was in the clinic, I'd have my own selection of cups, pom-poms and blueberries. If it's in teletherapy, I'll have the exact same setup on my side. They pick up, place, two steps, one, two. Now the difference with the blueberry is, because it's squidgy, they need to modulate the amount of pressure. If they let, if they let go of that, whoa, it's going to squash the berry. Okay, then you push just hard enough to open, and then hold that tension not to squish it. It's really nice for modulation. Drop and drop, okay? Now, here's the fun part. They're gonna flip it over, so instead of pushing to open, they're gonna press to close. Keep that in the hand, left hand, lifts up the cups one at a time, two, three, four, five. Ordinarily, I would have either five pom-poms or five blueberries, but it's just to give you the idea of how both works. The blueberries have that extra bit of modulation, okay? Multi-step coming in next. I'm gonna lift the pom-pom, one. Other hand picks up the cup, two. Flip it over, three, drop, four, okay? And do that count, make it very step-by-step, step, really slow. Lift, one, this way, holding the tension, don't drop it. Hand over hand, over. Drop and dunk. Four steps again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it, okay? And what they can do then if you're feeling fancy, you can try and turn that over and catch the blueberry in the bottom and then set it up where you started off. Put it back where you began. One, Two, three, four, and five. And we're back where we started. Then you swap hands and do the same thing again on the opposite hand, okay? And that, my friends, is 
the Blueberry Shuffle. So I love the Blueberry Shuffle. A lot of my kids get a real kick out of it. That's a real favorite because it ticks like Adam's three laws for motor learning are keep it fun, start with fun, fun first, and then it's clear, so it's very easy to see what your objective is, what success looks like, and then it's accessible. So I can grade it for a wide range of ages or abilities, and the kid can very quickly experience success and get that motivational momentum turning over, okay? I typically use this near the beginning of a teletherapy session or an in-person session, because I find it's a great one to capture the child's attention and get that dexterity and motor planning gears turning, and then I'll transition from this often into something like a more dexterous activity or a handwriting activity, okay? Um, I especially like it. The reason I use blueberries is because of this added motor modulation. So a lot of kids who have trouble modulating the amount of pressure on the writing tool, so they tend to push too hard or not hard enough. This way, you have the two ways to hold the, the clip, pressing down to open or pressing down to close. With the blueberry, they have to hold that tension if they release, the squish the berry, juice everywhere, a bit silly, but even then failure doesn't feel like something to be scared of, it's just a silly thing. So the challenge then is to hold that pressure, that tension, time under tension of the muscles even, not too hard, not too soft, and then the same when you go on the other side, you're holding strong enough to not drop it, but not so hard you're going to squash the thing, okay? So it's a really fun, kind of slick little motor modulation task, okay? Thank you so much, guys. I'm so sorry I've been off for a few weeks there. I had a brand new job and lots of content creation stuff and writing that we're going to be sharing in the next few weeks and then throughout 2021. Lots more exciting stuff coming up. So don't forget, if you want to stay updated, click subscribe. Thank you so much for all your questions and comments and requests over the holidays and lovely messages and videos. They just were wonderful to receive. They made me smile every day. Um, and if you do have any questions or requests, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, I will see you all soon. And that's all for this week from Adam the OT and the Blueberry Shuffle.